Good afternoon. Welcome to Tin Barn Park. It's been a very busy day. We've had a lot going on. This is our bolt flare, and Andy is finishing up the last piece on it. I know it's hope it's not too noisy, but you can see we had to put a the drip tape um, that that holds the drip tape and lets it feed down through there. So Andy's finished the cut and that. That piece there goes up through this hole here, over there, and those rolls of drip tape hang on this right here, and then it feeds down through this hole, which goes out through there in underneath the mulch, and the mulch will be up, the mulch will be up on this rail. Anyways, we built this bracket and that today. You can see that, and it, it adjusts. You can see the adjustment it can go up and down, and left and right, and then we built these today now i'm gonna go over what do you think andy think it's gonna work hopefully, hopefully. yeah andy's good help so anyways keep up the good work it's been a very very busy day we have been working since early this morning and <clears throat> We've had um, good progress today. We finished up <coughs> rototilling and getting the tank field prepped. It is now ready for the mulch layer. As soon as I can put back together the, the tractor over there, I broke the wheel off the tractor, it came off. And as soon as I can get that back together, we'll put that mulch layer on it. We will start uh, laying mulch ready to. to to plant squash. The boys, uh, when we got finished with that stuff, they went over and did the field at the, out of where our house is, our garden, a little garden spot. And so we'll show you some of that too. But anyways, first off, I'm gonna show you some progress on the horses they have made. Uh, they've done really well. These horses are coming along real well. These boys are, are, are top notch. Little Jack, Blanca, Mouse is over there in the far corner. And these are our registered pen. We have Hess in there. He is doing looking great. Uh, there's Sugar. Her eyes healing up, and she, I don't know if she'll be able to use it, but that's Tia right there. And Tia's in front, and Hess is in the back. And boys are over there working some horses right now. I'm going to go see what Curtis is doing. So, Curtis is working a sorrel colt right now he's a two-year-old colt that uh, was untouched just about two weeks ago we've had him for about two weeks maybe three can't remember but anyways he was untouched and now uh he hadn't had a whole lot of time because it's been school but the time that he has working on it you can probably see him behind me anyways He's back over here getting work. So I'm gonna turn this around and show you these new horses. So this is Scooter right here. He's a nine-year-old gilding. We gilded him just a couple weeks ago. He is doing phenomenal. He was, this was the horse that was stuck in neutral and he's doing good. It's a little one-year-old uh, roan colt. He's got two stocking feet. He's kind of a unique horse kind of paint roan type of horse but real pretty uh, he's, getting, he's a little skinny um, we haven't had him very long but he's putting on weight but he's coming along too so here's the project horses the boys are been working on them and uh, this is old cloud this is Johnny's project, and Johnny's the only one that's been working this horse, and he's doing pretty darn good. So, you can tell. Pull that back down, son. No, no, well, push it back up, I'll help you out. Hey, I gotta get the stirrup, there we go. You can see this horse is real bothered by all this. He's just, uh, <laughs> he's doing so good. So, tell me the progress. Done really good. He started putting in the bit way better. When he first started, he was throwing his head, he wasn't taking it, but now he's just taking it super good. Yeah, and now you're riding him all over and 
and uh, riding to the pine needles I saw earlier, huh? So I'm gonna see a little bit of that, okay? Hey, good job, man. Doing good. Who says you were too little for this? Huh? Who said that? I did? Was I wrong? Yeah. Yeah? What's that? You gonna tell everybody that I was wrong? Yeah. Yeah? You're too polite though, aren't you? Yeah. Hey, proud of you. You proved your dad right that you can do it. Love it. Alright. Alright, Curtis, this is a little sorrel colt. And uh this is only about what the third or fourth day you've been working with him, right? Yeah. Yeah. So did you work him in the round pin yet? Yeah. Cool. Why don't you go take him in the round pin? I'll catch up with you and see what he's done. Well, tell me what. Tell me what's going on first. Um, so he didn't really like us touching his sides, like being over there. So ran him in the round pin and working, trying to get back there, just so he's calm. Yeah. Awesome. Look at this. I, I like the way his head is. He's he's got a calm look. He's broad in the front here. He's only two years old. We need to do the string test on him after we do this, but he's a good looking horse. A little over 14 hands right now. I'll bet you he grows. Here, let, him, let me see the other side. There you go, back him up. Good job. Make him spin in a circle for us. Man, he's licking his lips ready for you, son. Oh, that was a good crossover there. He did good. There you go, the other direction now. Folks, you gotta remember, this is a young horse, just, he's still a stud, and he is young, two-year-old, and he's looking good. He is looking really good, so. Curtis is doing a wonderful job. This horse is going to be a good horse. So I like how he looks, I like how he's built. So good job, Curtis. He is doing well. Good job, man. What was the hardest thing so far? Uh, probably leading. Leading? He's kind of stubborn on that. Is he? Well, let's show me how he does. Hey, that's pretty good. So this is Boots. This is a horse that Z's been riding. He's very pretty, uh, pretty flighty. Really a uh, little bit spooky, flighty. Well-built little horse here. Well, not that too, too little. He's he's a decent sized horse. This is a little over 14, probably 14 too. And uh, Z's been riding him. So here's Toots. Toots had her baby, the little filly, and she is gorgeous. She's straight legs, looking good. And she is beautiful, beautiful little girl. We named her Wendy, and uh, she is just two days old right now. She was born yesterday, so anyways, Toots is doing very well. She's she's a good mama, and uh, you can see she's looking very well too. She's looking good, She's she wintered really well. She's a good horse, and she had a good little filly here. And there's Halo, she's looking beautiful right now. Put her weight back on that she lost during the winter and she's doing well so good job wendy good little girl well johnny you're ready to go huh yeah all right let's see so what are you going to do what water okay does he go through there pretty good for you all right We need to find out why that goat's bellering out there. Yeah. All right, take off, cowboy. Johnny's done so well with this horse. He was bound to determine to don't get over by that tin. You gotta get that tin out of there. It's the bottom of an old tank. There's Z. So Z, tell us about boots. Uh, he's pretty 
good. He's got a soft neck on him. He rains good. Um, he's a little flighty. Uh, but he does pretty good other than that. He just gets scared of different little things. Yeah, he's like a freedy cat, huh? Stuffed. Yeah. So when we got him, he hadn't been ridden before, correct? Correct. And uh, so you've gotten him to where he did buck you off pretty hard once or was it twice? Twice. Twice. One he kind of fell over and I came off when he did that and the other one he bucked me off. Yeah. And then Andy rode him after that a little bit, but you rode right after. I mean, what's what, that's our rule. We get right back on, don't we? We get on there and take care of business and uh, he got back on, but the next day, Andy rode him for him the next day because his hand was hurting a little bit. Sealed up isn't it pretty much now. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, so it's pretty bad there. Those were, that's where it got skinned up. Huh? So, anyways, all right. Well, what are you going to do with him tonight? Well, just riding around, probably on the pine needles and down the field. And whatnot, just Show us some progress, huh? All right, let's see. So Boots has come a long ways. He's put a lot of time already on him, and uh, he's a little, a little bit flinchy, a little bit jumpy here and there, and uh, got to make sure things are good. All right, I'll see you at the pine needle pile, huh? Yeah. Cool, looking good. You got a name for him yet? Jag? Uh, McJag? All right. So, He's been loading him a little bit. Let's see what kind of progress he's made. Well, that was pretty slick. That was right in there. Is he back out? Man, he's doing good. Awesome. Put him in there again. Let's see what happens. Oh, Curtis has done so well with him. That's awesome, Curtis. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, back him out again. Yep, you keep petting him, keep doing that, and he's gonna be good. So it's awesome. I'm proud of you. What's your next what are you gonna try to do next? Um next thing I have to do on him is pick up his feet. Pick up his feet? Yeah. Yeah. Getting him brushed all over. Look at him licking his lips with satisfaction there. Saying, Yep. Awesome, you've done good, Curtis. Proud of you. Done really well. Well, this is our big pine needle pile. This is all pine needles that get hauled to us off of lots that have to be cleared off. We take them and grind them up with a brush hog on the back of the tractor. And this, you can see this pile here, that's all I bring ground up. The bigger ones that are sticking up haven't been ground yet. And we have found that it's a really cool place to get horses <laughs> to trust going into deep stuff and because you get to sink into it and they have to push through and it doesn't hurt them. And anyways, so they have fun at it.
Yeah? How tall is that up on you, though? Okay. We'll go measure that and see how tall he's going to be. He has a round, a round, but he's, uh, there's no black cups in there, so I think he's, he's all smooth there. Just the front teeth is two and a half, three and a half, four and a half. And the front cups go out at five, six, seven. And I didn't see any cups in there. So I would put him probably a seven, six, seven year old horse or more. Well, Johnny, how did Cla uh, Cloud do tonight? Good. Tell the truth. Get all those eggs. She says, get out of my way. All right, so this is our garden spot. George is going to go sprint across there. But uh, that's what the boys uh, were working on. And there was a big pile of manure there and pine needles that we had. And so... But that'll be our, our garden spot this year. It was a great garden spot last year. We're going to video and see how fast you are. We'll compare it with the next video. Ready? Mark, set, go! And there he goes. So, sorry about this wind. It's probably pretty loud. But uh, this is the tank field. We put six loads of organic matter, three manure loads, and three pine needles. And... Uh, there's George. This is right at a half an acre. And this is all ready for the mulch layer to come in here. We call it the tank field because there's the tank. But uh, anyways, this is what we call the tank field. Come on, George. I wonder how muddy it is down there. Uh, here he comes. Look at you go, buddy. Here he comes. Come on, George. Hey, what do you think? Is this a bigger field? Yeah. A minute, 30 seconds, dude. Good job. Give me five. All right. 